Hey, hello everyone. This is Prashant. Uh, welcome to our another series. Like in this, we are going to uh, uh, talk about uh, data structures. So all the basic data structures as a for automation testers, like both for uh, any role, like uh, as that or any normal QA role. So this would be easy. And uh, right now we are going to Python. So I make the one poll. So Java plus Python. But most of the people who are choosing the Python. Okay. So the entire series are going to start from basic of. all the methods data structure methods in python has like inbuilt and methods after that we are going to do more problem solving in coming sessions but four to five four to five sessions we are going to see only the basics whatever uh, like a list tuples dictionary whatever data structures concepts are inbuilt with python okay so uh, if you want to uh, install the python uh, see our any of our series like playwright series or any selenium pytest series so you can you can know how to install a pycharm and python in your system okay so right now i'm going to open a, a pycharm so pycharm is ide we are using so i'm going to create a new project in this new project so i'm going to name this project as ds data structures that's it so i'm clicking on uh, okay uh, i'm clicking on new window So today we are going to see about the list. Okay. So first of all, we want to know what is list. So list is the linear order storage. Okay. So it contains duplicate as well, but it stores in the index order like zero, one, two, three in the order. Okay. And it is a mutable. We can modify, we can create, we can update, we can remove all the curved operations. We can do in this list. Okay. So we are going. We will see the list. Uh, this is the first project. It is created as right now. I'm going to create a new Python file. Right-click on your project. Click on new. Click on Python file. So this is the list demo. So this is the list project. So in this list, first is I'm going to create a one list variable. So first of all. how to uh, give a list means we need to use square brackets that is the first syntax you guys want to know okay so list means square bracket okay so i'm going to so i'm going to give a list is you see square bracket okay first i'm going to create a list like i give a numbers list numbers equal to in the square bracket you want to store the numbers you can store any numbers okay you are able to see right so we need to give a space after the comma like it's a, it's a good practice okay cool right so this is the list so what is the size of the list the size of the list is right now right now it has what is the size five right there are five values but in index wise it is a 0 to 4 so in the order is like index it start from 0 up to 4 like 0 to 4 okay that is the order 0 to 4 so if you want a second position suppose what a second position 4 is a second position but i need a in, i how i get that means you want to pass print the variable name in the square bracket you want to pass the index i am giving one okay so in in zeroth index it stores one in the first index it's for it stores the four okay i am running this file see this the four is printed so using the index order we need to get the value in the list this is the basic okay then how to find the length of a list so our next one is length how to find the length so i'm going to print the length method len l e n and you want to pass the variable name so number is the variable name okay so this is the method i'm running here so what is the length the length is the 5 because what it contains five values so this is the use of length okay then right next question how can i iterate you can use a for loop so how can i use a for loop i am going to use a for loop to iterate so for i in numbers 
so it will take the variable initialize the variable i and it takes all the values on the numbers so here i'm going to print print i'm going to give f function so in this f function i'm going to print numbers so i so what will be done it will print one by one by one by numbers like one four seven five six seven okay so that is how it will list it see this one four five six seven it will loop through the all the numbers so this is the how we need to iterate in the for loop okay the next thing so what we are going to study so right now we are having the list okay so you can ask question how can i add another number in the list so like right now adding a another number okay adding another item so how can i add it so for that we need to use a number dot append method so i'm going to give a 9 a 12 and give us two digit numbers right so i'm going to print the entire list print numbers it will print entire list and then a single strings okay so before before appending i am printing the before appending what would be so i am going to show the difference right so what would be the uh, uh, before what is happen after appending what is happen so that is the theory we are going to see here so what is before so before it has this is the value after appending the number this is the latest list okay so append method is used to add the items in the list okay so after that okay i'm adding it okay prashant how can i update suppose in future i want to replace this 5 with another number how can i update okay you can ask how can i update update the item so for that i'm going to use numbers dot insert inserting in which place the 5 is there this is zeroth place first index second index so in the second place i want to put a 20 so after that i'm going to print after updating the list i'm going to print here so we'll see what is printing after updating after i'm updating so what to the number see here in the fifth place oh my god it is inserted okay okay so insert also uh, it is not update it will modify that uh, like it inserting on the position so i am giving second position previously we used to append so what is append then append add in the end actually the numbers in the end of the number insert is inserting on certain position in that position it will update it okay suppose so then you can ask me how can i update that means numbers uh, which position 5 right now 5 is on the third position actually third 3 like number 3 equal to 25 so i am printing okay so in the third position i am updating see this previously the 5 right now i updated as a 25 because in the third position i updated the value on that position so inserting this to some certain position this is updating old item this is adding new item uh, new item in the certain position position or index simple index so not this is not a command so i want to use this command okay so cool right okay right now added next fourth one how can i remove value that is a good question right so how can i remove the value like deleting so how can i delete the item from the list so for that we need to use a numbers dot remove so you want to say i am removing 25 after removing a 25 i am printing the
see this 25 is removed from the latest list okay so we need to use a remove function to remove it okay so as of now we have the basic things how to add how to find the length how to iterate in the for loop how to append how to insert how to uh, adding updating how to remove even we have a pop up also so i will show you numbers dot pop up okay i'm going to print again so what is the use of pop up what is the pop up is giving so i'm i want to i'm printing this as well because this also we need to put in the print because we need to know what is popped from that okay so what is use of pop method so pop method is to get a value from the last but what is the another character of pop up it will give the last index value but it will remove it two characters it will give the number the number not the number not item the item from the list the what is the end list and it will remove from it will remove that item from the list okay that is a pop okay popping okay so that is a one kind of thing and okay then here where we use this list uh, in most of the places in real time mm -hmm. that in ds i am going to teach that right now basically we will use in the sorting what is sorting like if i'm uh, this is the list this out obviously this is order so what i'm going to give i'm going to give a 20 uh to uh this is 55 this is right now un order right so sorting mean like ascending order or descending order that is so okay right now i'm going to you uh, put the ascending order so how to put the ascending order for the list for that numbers dot sort so after that i'm going to print the list so i'm sorting the array like sorting the list actually at the array so after after that i'm printing okay see this previously this is the list but after sorting what is happening in ascending order it's going okay then you can ask me prashant uh, this is sorting is ascending in a ascending order how can i order in the descending so for that we need to give a reverse equal to true so if you are giving a defaultly the reverse is false basically but if you want to need a descending order you want to make reverse equal to true right now you see it starting from the high to low like in descending order so this is how we need to use this thing most of the entry questions uh, i approach lot of times i using this sorting algorithms like like sorting and find that value suppose uh, uh, take an example uh, the person is asking uh, prashant uh, like tell me uh, uh, find the highest value in a list find the lowest in a list or find the maximum in a middle or uh, find the difference between two and sum of the two numbers so those kind of places it is easy after sorting the values because in before sorting we don't know how to start even the bubbles sort uh, no, no like we have a uh, like merge sort quick sort uh, binary searching it's those kind of high level uses this a uh, sorting algorithm is superbly used okay so that is how we use sorting okay so this is enough for on the list you guys simply practice all the list whatever we just now saw because when you going for a problem solving at that time we can't have a time to teach lists that time we were focusing on the so problems and solutions okay that's why in the initial uh, phase of the series going to be very simple uh, but for beginners it's good but for already know the person was good enough in python for them it's look like a very small but we will go we are starting like a beginner to intermediate and then pro so that is uh, the course we course thanks for the joining if you like the video please like and subscribe uh, thanks for watching